Knowledge is power. Francis Bacon. Scientific knowledge builds upon itself. It advances steadily and cumulatively, discovering new laws and the making new inventions possible. It enables people to do things that otherwise could not be done. Knowledge is power. Bacon is often credited with being the first in a tradition of thought known as British empiricism, which is characterized by the view that all knowledge must come ultimately from sensory experience. He was born at a time when there was a shift from the Renaissance preoccupation with the rediscovered achievements of the ancient world toward a more scientific approach to knowledge. There had already been some innovative work by Renaissance scientists such as the astronomer Niellos Copernicus and the anatomist Andreas Vesalius, but this new period, sometimes called the Scientific Revolution, produced an astonishing number of scientific thinkers, including Galileo Galilei, William Harvey, Robert Boyle, Robert Hooke, and Isaac Newton. Although the church had been broadly welcoming to science for much of the medieval period, this was halted by the rise of opposition to the Vatican's authority during the Renaissance. Several religious reformers, such as Martin Luther, had complained that the church had been too lax in countering scientific challenges to accounts of the world based on the Bible. In response, the Catholic Church, which had already lost adherence to Luther's new form of Christianity, changed its stance and turned against scientific endeavor. This opposition, from both sides of the religious divide, hampered the development of the sciences. Bacon claims to accept the teachings of the Christian Church, but he also argues that science must be separated from religion, in order to make the acquisition of knowledge quicker and easier, so that it can be used to improve the quality of people's lives. Bacon stresses this transforming role for science. One of his complaints is that science's ability to enhance human existence had previously been ignored, in favor of a focus on academic and personal glory. Bacon presents a list of the psychological barriers to pursuing scientific knowledge in terms that he calls collectively the idols of the mind. These are the idols of the tribe, the tendency of human beings as a species, or tribe, to generalize, the idols of the cave the human tendency to impose preconceptions on nature other than to see what is really there, the idols of the marketplace, our tendency to let social conventions distort our experience, and the idols of the theatre, the distorting influence of prevailing philosophical and scientific dogma. The scientist, according to Bacon, must battle against all these handicaps to gain knowledge of the world. Scientific Method Bacon goes on to argue that the advancement of science depends on formulating laws of ever-increasing generality. He proposes a scientific method that includes a variation of this approach. Instead of making a series of observations, such as instances of metals that expand when heated, and then concluding that heat must cause all metals to expand, he stresses the need to test a new theory by going on to look for negative instances such as metals not expanding when they are heated. Bacon's influence led to a focus on practical experimentation in science. He was, however, criticized for neglecting the importance of the imaginative leaps that drive all scientific progress. Francis Bacon Born in London, Francis Bacon was educated privately, before being sent to Trinity College, Cambridge, at the age of 12. After graduation, he started training as a lawyer, but abandoned his studies to take up a diplomatic post in France. His father's death in 1579 left him impoverished, forcing him to return to the legal profession. Bacon was elected to Parliament in 1584, but his friendship with the treasonous Earl of Essex held back his political career until the accession of James I in 1603. In 1618, he was appointed Lord Chancellor, but was dismissed two years later, when he was convicted of accepting bribes. Bacon spent the rest of his life writing and carrying out his scientific work. He died from bronchitis, contracted while stuffing a chicken with snow, as part of an experiment in food preservation. Key works. 1597 Essays. 1605 The Advancement of Learning. 1620 Novum Organum. 
1624 Nova Atlantis. In context, branch, philosophy of science. Approach, empiricism. Before. 4th century Aristotle sets observation and inductive reasoning at the center of scientific thinking. 13th century English scholars Robert Grossi Test and Roger Bacon add experimentation to Aristotle's inductive approach to scientific knowledge. After 1739 David Hume's treatise of human nature argues against the rationality of inductive thinking. 1843 John Stuart Mill's System of Logic outlines the five inductive principles that together regulate the sciences. 1934 Karl Popper states that falsification, not induction, defines the scientific method. By far the best proof is experience. Francis Bacon, 